Hello, hello. Welcome back to another tech video. In this video, we're back on our PCs and finishing up our publisher series. Look how far we've come. Now, if you're new here and haven't followed this Facebook page or subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget to tap the follow button on Facebook and or the subscribe button on our YouTube channel to see more MCPL content. We bring you interesting tech videos every Wednesday and Friday at 1. If you couldn't join us for the first four videos or the last three videos, please check those out in our Microsoft products playlist on our MCPL Mo YouTube channel. Events five through eight will be a continuation of the skills we started in videos one through four. So start with video one. So videos five through eight will be a continuation of the skills we started in videos one through four. If you have been following along this whole time, I'd love to see any projects that you created with Publisher after watching. So let's pick up where we last left off. Now in part five, we started our newsletter template, which is what we've been using here. In part six, we set the layout for page two. And then last time in part seven, we started adding our text and images for page one. Today, we'll do the same for page two. We actually have quite a bit to do, so let's get started. What we're going to do first is we're going to zoom in because obviously some of this text is pretty hard to see. And we're going to start with probably even zoom in some. There we go. Yeah. So here's what we want to do is we are going to set our three reminders that are on the left hand side. And so all we have to do is just replace this placeholder text by clicking on it. It'll highlight and we can just type what we need to do. So this first one will be Join the in the group chat on WhatsApp. Get reminders and good morning texts. You can't see what I just typed because remember when we see those three dots, the text box isn't big enough. So we want to select everything, go to text box text fit and then best fit and it'll decide what the best fit is without you having to fight with it. And then this next reminder, so reminder number two. So our cousin Michael wanted me to include that his surgery will be on January 23rd, 2023. And he'll need someone to kind of provide some meals for the kids during his recovery. So he gave us a link to the meal plan calendar for everyone to add their meal plan options that they're willing to bring over and when they'll bring them over. And then he wants us to let them know that any play dates can of course always be set up in WhatsApp for the kids. So we have to fit all that here. It'll be pretty easy. All we have to do is we'll just say Michael's Surgery date on January 2023. And then underneath that, we want to say two different things of information. So we could put a table here that says the meal plan link on one side and then set up play dates on the other side. But if the family joins the WhatsApp, They'll get a reminder of that. So I think what will be most important here is the family meal plan link. When you're ready to add your link, you'll highlight it. Go grab that link. And then we're going to highlight what needs to be the link. I can get rid of link because I'm doing it right now. Don't have to remind myself. We're going to right click on it and choose hyperlink. And then we're going to put the address for where they need to go to sign up for this meal calendar. So we're going to click OK. And then once it's linked, you'll see that the color of the text is changed and it is underlined. So when people open this document, they'll be able to click on that to open the web page that it needs to take them to. And then this last one, needs to be a reminder for pretty much our family's mental health. So let's tell them to drink water, take your meds, 
to use use your PTO. But sometimes we don't take care of ourselves. So those reminders done and out of the way. Now in this pull quote that we added over here on the right hand side, we wanted this to be reserved for the food sign up reminder. So Tahani, Jason, and Chidi all signed up to bring a dish. So we'll, we'll remind them of that here. So here we go. Food bringers. Bring these items on 8-28. So we'll have Jason signed up for this. She signed up for this. And then Tahani signed up for this. And I want to make it fit again. There we go. Let's call this food list. There we go. And so I'm just gonna bring spinach. She will bring some almond milk and guacamole. Honey will bring a charcuterie board or two now i have here let's bold their names too so they don't forget now here we have three images here and so like we did before we can right click on the image change picture and then i have a few in my files that i just want to add in here they're just little placeholders. So bring in this first one. Zoom back in. And the next one. Uh oh, he went to the wrong spot. I hate that it zooms you back out each time. So we're going to cut. There we go. Make sure the area is selected. Right click and paste. Now, if you're like me and you're like, hmm, yes, it's cutting them off, and I'm not crazy about that. So what I might do is this. There's two things we can do. If we choose the first picture in the, con in the contextual menu, if we choose crop, this will let us adjust where that picture sits inside of the placeholder so it doesn't cut the bottom off. So I'll show you that again. You can find the image that's being cut off here, like this plate. Select it, so you see the gray dots. We're saying I'm affecting this picture. Context menu, picture format, crop. And then crop will let you drag the image, essentially cropping only the certain parts so it's within the border. And there we go. Now, the other thing you can do is this. Take this page part, ungroup, and remove them. And then I probably want to insert them on my own. All three of them, please. And zoom back in because it likes to zoom us back out every time. And then kind of put the images in here as I like them so they don't look like they're squeezed in there. Now I will have to adjust them so they're not running into my text box up here. So let's make you a little smaller. There we go. Using my kites. So that's that. Now I did have a little icon I wanted to add to my reminders. 
let's go ahead and bring that in right here. I'm going to make it super small and then decide where we want that to be just to kind of give a visual indication of what these are. Okay, it's looking beautiful so far back here, friends. All right, now in our calendar, we are having a family gathering, of course, later this month on the 28th. So in our calendar, I want to indicate that. So the first thing I want to do is probably zoom in quite a bit on this calendar. And then look at closing page navigation. And then zoom in a little bit. Oops, not that far. There we go. So on the 28th, this will be the date of the family gathering. So I'm going to highlight that date. And then in my palette, I can choose a color to differentiate it from everything else. And then I might even bold it. But what I could do is also include a circle around that date because it's important. They need to be there because people are bringing food. There we go. I'm going to put it over this. And then I want to be just an outline with no fill. So that way it looks like it's circling the date. Okay, so we have the 28th circled. And then there's also another important date that needs to happen too. That I want to create an actual reminder for here in the shape. So since this is technically not a page part, I do need to insert a text box. So I'll go to my insert tab and then draw a text box and pick how big it needs to be. Okay, here what needs to happen is that they need to send Eleanor your shirt size by August 2nd, email her or complete this form. And the second reminder is that family gathering 2022, August 28th. Okay, now since we want this text to match what we have in we can just choose this reminder here. We'll highlight the text we want to copy. And in this little command strip, we can choose the format painter here. Or if you miss that, because sometimes I do too, go to your home tab and choose it in the clipboard section. And what it'll do is you'll then highlight what needs to look like what's there. There we go. And it's even added the box. Now, it looks like some of the outline is getting lost. So let's make it a little smaller. And then highlight to auto fit this text. There we go. And then since we need to have the shirt by August 2nd, we'll want to do the same formatting to that in our calendar. Let's highlight it and change its color to and bold it like we did the 28th. And then put our little circle on it. Okay, so we've got the 2nd and the 28th highlighted on the calendar. We have our alert here. And now we just need to link in for the form that Eleanor sent us in an email. So we will do that. Right click, hyperlink, and the form. Click OK. And then let's zoom out and look it over. All right. I think it looks pretty good, friends. Let's move this really quickly so you see how here in food list it looks like it's like right on the line 
so let's move it up away from the line just a little bit there we go gorgeous okay so let's go back to page one and do some of the and add in a few graphics so we're going to insert pictures we're going to add some that we have here let's add this one and well and this one and this one and let's click ok ok so we have these added in here so this first one I might recolor it to fit a little bit more of my scheme so I'm going to select it go to recolor in the context menu that showed up and choose a color that kind of looks more like what I have here and then kind of drag it into this corner here there we go and then I got this baby carriage I'll do the same thing highlight it adjust it in the recolor there we go and then drag it where it needs to go so probably in this corner make it smaller and then I'll zoom in a little bit so I can tilt it then we're gonna insert the others this one this one and well, let's add this one and this one okay then let's put the little bus over here and you'll notice as you bring it in the text will try to adjust I'm going to make it a little smaller and then tilt it there we go and then probably bring it up right here there we go and if I want to adjust its color there we go and then I had another baby carriage or was it a cake ah so we have this cake here let's make it smaller put it here for Eleanor change the color there we go and then let's get our other one now if you don't want what's here to bump into your text like this is doing here let me zoom in so you can see the text right now is trying to avoid this image so it's pushing it over to the right so what I want to do is send this picture behind the text box so I'm going to go to picture format wrap text and let's do through and see what happens okay so it bumps just a little oh let me change my color i'm thinking about it it blends in a little bit but that's okay so i probably want to change how it's wrapped and choose no wrapping since what it's going to bump into is the blank space around the image yeah I know I did all that work to color them, but sometimes you change your mind once everything's in place. So let's select the last two, original format, recolor, original. Okay, let's zoom out and take a look. I think it's pretty nice. It looks pretty good. Okay, so let's do a review. Let's check our spelling. It looks like everything's spelled correctly. 
Um, it's our last name. And, and it's complete. I think it's beautiful. So let's save it. So we're going to do file, save as. And like I mentioned last time, you'll always want to make sure you save the original file before you save it in any other format. So this is our newsletter for 2022. So it's 2022. August. Save. And since I'll be sending this to everyone's emails, I will want to save it in a PDF. So file, save as, browse again. And I'm fine if it's in the same place, but instead of save as type, I'm going to change it from publisher file to PDF. And then save it. Okay, let's look at our final product. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. You guys did it. Look how amazing your family newsletter looks. All you have to do now is attach it in an email and send it on its way. Beautiful work, everybody. All right. That's what I have for you for Publisher Parts 5 through 8. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you learned something new. Any comments that you have that you'd like to share or anything in the survey for what you'd like to see, if you want more publisher videos, let us know. For now, that's all I've got. Have a good day. And we want to thank you for watching. Follow us to find more videos just like this. Our page on Facebook is MCPL360. And if you miss us on Facebook, you'll still find these same videos on our YouTube channel at MCPLMO. Find our consumer technology playlist. Have a good day.